right everybody welcome to your 26th jQuery tutorial in which we'll be creating a sliding effect with jQuery now in the last tutorial I discussed to you about how would we taking a look at some examples and would be learning from them and in this tutorial I have a basically aim to teach you guys about something called slide up slide down and slide toggle methods on the jQuery constructor function so let's get started and first of all to demonstrate this I'll just create something called divide toggle this and I'll just say click here and here content is there and I'll just say this to anything content you like this is some secret of NSA you shouldn't be here pretty much any bullshit would do all right so now inside our CSS let's style this a little bit up and what we can do is I'll just type toggle this and would give it a padding of 10 pixel with 100% though it is already 100% background maybe triple E border one pixel solid black maybe and the content should be um, padding 15 pixel with 100% though it is already text align center sure font size 20 pixels and finally display none let the fun begin now what we are trying to do is here first of all let's take a look at how the HTML of this is working so here's my browser let's reload this so we get just this click here nice button right here the toggle button and ooh, this should be text align center actually so it looks nice so I'll just scale down the window a little bit all right so this click here button right here and I guess I should just give it a margin zero padding zero box sizing border box pretty much this should fix all right so one last thing text align center let's reload this and now what we see is just this big banner like here on the top and below this is the content which is set to display none now let me toggle this for you so what we'll do is in the jQuery section first of all just wait for the DOM to get ready then we want whenever our toggle this is click for a function and what that function do is it would select our content and it would just do slide down alright so now let's reload this and click here so you see that once I click here this content right here slides down and actually I could give it a background to make it uh, more kind of visible um, let's say black color white and not actually black a little bit like red shade or something should do well and the content here should be replaced by this here you go uh, alright so here we go let's reload this click this and you see that it slides down nicely but it won't when you click it back so let's say you want to create a slide up feature which only slides up the content so what we can do is we can just set it to display block here and change this from slide down to 
to slide up. Let's reload this and let's click here and you see that it slides up nicely. Now I want to show you guys a bunch of things we can do with this. Now slide up and slide down obviously both of these accepts an argument which is the kind of animation time so when you supply it slow um, I don't know it's like kind of um, you know 750 to 800 milliseconds of animation so when I click here then you see that it nicely and slowly slides down and when I pass in the argument fast not fat <laughs> and reload this and click here then it scrolls uh, slides down in a very fast manner similarly you could supply your own time here in milliseconds let's say for 300 for instance let's reload this and click here you see that this animation this block of animation completes in exactly 300 milliseconds now what if you wanted both the toggle and um, basically you wanted something like toggle which slides up and slides down as well surely we can do that with the click function then assigning it a class and then checking if it has a class then slide down or slide up and but that would be too much to do we have a simple function in jQuery which do the job for us and which is slide toggle 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 here you go now the slide toggle would work just like you are this slide toggle would work like your slide down when your content is hidden and slide up when your content is visible so let's see it live in the action and when I click it it comes down goes back comes down comes down goes back comes down goes back and you can do that yourself so slide toggle would accept a animation parameter with the number of milliseconds and this has a second optional parameter as well though both of these are optional but it has got a second parameter as well which you can pass now this is let's say I pass the argument callback now callback is something which function is fired whenever the slide toggle is completed so let's say I have a function say callback here let's make this useful a little bit so I'll just say window dot I equals zero I'll just say console dot log um, callback or we'll just say that slide toggled times pretty sweet now let's reload this and uh, let's switch to console let's click here you see that this function right here is called whenever the animation is completed it's not called in between it's not called on the starting it is called whenever the animation gets completed so when I click here whenever this block would fully move to top then only here it would appear slight toggled two times you see then it updates itself because this callback is called every time um, this toggle function is fired and the second argument just fires off whenever the slide toggle is completed so I guess that's all for this tutorial and I hope you have learned something about slide toggle in jQuery and if you have got some problems then don't forget to leave a comment or any suggestions you like and I'll see you then next time goodbye